Hello everybody and welcome to Dicey Dungeons. Uh, this is the game we're doing for Game Pass Days uh, today and uh, we're going to take you through one run in the Curse of Greed uh, with the Warrior. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is the Warrior is technically the easiest, although I haven't found him to be too much... I haven't found him to be too easy in this circumstance. Uh, Lady Luck setting everything up for us, uh, letting us know what we're doing, and yes, the inevitable failure, of course. Uh, so anyway, uh, we're going to start this off. Now, Dicey Dungeons is basically a uh, card battler with dice. Uh, that's the <laughs> that's the easiest way to explain it. Um, all this, all these things you see in the middle of the screen here are called equipment. And it's basically how you interact with the dice to uh, hurt your opponent. And that's the whole idea, is you want to do as much damage as your opponent as you possibly can in the time allotted. Um, not in the time allotted, but in the, uh, in the moves allotted. And um, there you go. Um, this is part of game... We are doing this, I am doing this, in part as part of the Game Pass Days column. And you can take a look at that over on Medium, or you can take a look at some old ones over on the Hades Times website. So either way, uh, feel free to check out either one. This is the second video version of this that I've done, and there is an accompanying um, article on Game pa on uh, Medium about this, as there will be for all of them. So if you want to learn more about uh, the game, maybe something a little more in depth than what I'm telling you right here, because it is a sh quick, short video. Uh, you can head over there. All that information will be in the description, so you can just check it out there. Now, uh, what I did want to say about this is that I'm at a severe disadvantage because I'm always cursed. Uh, when you're not cursed, um, you do pretty well. Uh, overall, uh, the warrior is pretty OP, uh, just because his uh, abilities, which is basically being able to uh, get to keep on changing uh, the dice, and when he hits fury, if he hits that, he can uh, double his next move. Well, the problem is, is that when you have curse, as you will be seeing, um, the curse picks the most fortuitous things to uh, do its uh, nasty business on, almost as if the computer is against you. Uh, but we that wouldn't happen, right? Anyway, um, so uh, that definitely affects your progress as you go on, especially at the harder enemies. Uh, so far, this has been pretty much of a cakewalk, but uh, as the enemies get harder, uh, you start to have a real problem. Um, there are five characters in total, there's a sixth character that you can unlock. I believe it is, you can only unlock them if you finish the game. Uh, where, in other words, if you finish all the episodes with one with one character, uh, then I think then I think you get that sixth character. Um, the characters are unlocked purely by playing one run with the previous character, so that's pretty easy to do, and that's the only way to unlock the bonus episodes which is the bonus episodes are everything after the first uh, episode that you that you do with each of the characters. So that's just some clarification. Uh, this is a treasure chest, get some stuff, and we move on. We keep fighting. So typically on a game like this, uh, I would be playing it in 4K. I am playing in 4K here. Uh, but I am outputting it in 1080p purely because uh, it is easier for me to do the video. It's quicker uh, if it's in 1080p, and it doesn't seem like anybody cares. So if you do care, please let me know in the comments. And I will begin to do these videos in 4K if I have enough uh, people requesting it. Uh, it just doesn't seem like it's something people care about. Um, the other videos on this YouTube channel, the majority of them are in 4K. Um, and I really didn't ever seem like anybody paid that much attention to that fact or cared that much about it. So uh, I'm not doing that anymore. 
because uh, it is uh, takes up more time. It is harder to do uh, processing wise. It takes longer and it takes longer to upload. So, uh, but if you do care about it and it is something important to you, please let me know because uh, you know you have to ask for what you want. So anyway, uh, as you can see, this is uh, I'm getting really screwed by the uh, by the curse. Um, I've been lucky so far, but my luck is not going to last, unfortunately. Um, I did want to kind of show you as much as much of the run as I possibly could, um, so that's why I tried to kind of keep it uh, keep it going. Uh, but uh, I had no idea that I was going to hit this brick wall. Uh, three quarters of the way through. <laughs> if I had, if I did know, I wouldn't have uh, done it that way. But it is a good representation of a run, uh, especially after you gotta get out of the easy tutorial uh, stage of the first episode for each character, uh, because that's kind of what they're meant to be. The the difficulty spike uh, between the first episode and the second episode is incredibly real. So. Um, that first episode is just supposed to be uh, kind of like a tutorial. Um, and each character has a different play style, so you kind of do need that tutorial. Um, it's very similar, uh, I hate to say it, to like Slay the Spire in that way, that each character does something significantly different. Um, with the shop, what you can do is you can buy something, and then if you have enough money, you can go back in there and buy something else. Um, which uh, might not be apparent uh, to you at the beginning, but that is the way you do it. Um, now, the big difficulty here is that every time I try to uh, kind of get ahead, uh, I end up with uh, quite an issue because it picks that one that I'm trying to get ahead with to use as the curse. Uh, again, this is kind of... and. Then, of course, the fact that I'm frozen changes all the dice to ones. So none of that really helps. Uh, so anyway, uh, I just wanted to uh, show this off, uh, let you know kind of how it works. Uh, that's pretty much the long and the short of it on this. Uh, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are enjoying uh, the videos that I've been putting out, the, the this these Game Pass Day videos. If you are enjoying it, please let me know. Please help put... please. Press the like button, please, or you can press the the dislike button. I don't care if you don't like it; just express yourself, and to leave a comment in the comment section. Um, there, are, all my links are going to be in the description. So uh, anything uh, you know, anything more you want to want to pursue, you can go there. You can go on the website. You can go on my Medium page. You can go any of that, any of those places. Uh, finally. Uh, there are over 200 videos on this YouTube channel, uh, mostly about video games that came out in the past, well, since 2017. So uh, if you are interested in any of those games, please uh, feel free to look through all those videos and uh, give them a look. There's a lot of Let's Plays, uh, so anything like that I'm sure you will enjoy. Um, there are a lot of racing games, a lot of fighting games. Uh, that's the kind of stuff that I uh, am into, was into, but I'm still, I have very broad horizons, so don't worry about it. It's not all that. So uh, we are reaching the end of the video here. Alas, this is going to be my, uh, my end. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I hope, to, hope you're having a great day. Hope you're having a great week, and I will check you, hopefully you can check out a new video out very very soon so i'll see you in that next video thank you and see ya